I will also keep you from the hour of testing that is going to come over the whole world to test those who live on the earth. I am coming quickly. Hold on to what you have so that no one takes your crown. All right. The victor, I will make him a pillar in the sanctuary of my God. And he will never go out again. I will write on him the name of my God and the name of the city of my God. The new Jerusalem, which comes down out of heaven from my God. And my new name. And anyone who has an ear should listen to what the Spirit says to the church. Amen. And from that text, we to title it, There's Nobody Like My God. Amen. The book of Revelation is consistent of seven visions that John had received from God. And we're in the first vision where he's addressing the churches, the seven churches in Asia Minor. Now, now, these, it might be just the seven churches that he's addressing in Asia Minor because of where his location is, where John's location is. John is located on the island of Patmos. All right. He, he's been he's been what you would call isolated. He's what you've been called kicked out. He's what you've been called uh, 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 alone on his own. But on the island of Patmos, it was it said in the Revelation that on the Lord's day he was lifted up. All right, in the spirit. And God not only, God not only talked to him, but he gave him a vision. Seven visions that consisted of the whole book of Revelation. Mm -hmm. and, and it was to the seven churches located in Asia Minor. All right. But it was also to the church. Right. I, 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 I like the fact that, 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 that the number seven is the number of completions. So the seven churches that he's addressing in Asia Minor all includes the church because at each church there was something that they failed short of and that they missed the mark on at each church that the whole church consists of that somebody in the church misses the mark all right. on one of these points. And I love the thing about Revelation is that now we see an exhortation from Christ, not the lay, but Christ, the King. Because we get an exhortation from Christ being King and resurrected Lord in the book of Revelation. That's why the words are in red. And he's exhorting this church in Philadelphia. This church in Philadelphia was known as, as, as the, 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 the city of brotherly love. <laughs> oh my God. Mm. And, and, and they were known as this city before they received Christ. Mm. But after receiving Christ, they continued to exercise in the gift of showing kind brotherly love. To one another. And so as John sees this vision and Jesus gives this exhortation to the city of Now as we as we discuss the other churches, we've had some that doubted, we've had some that kept the faith, but to their hour. We've had some that allowed the enemy to come in and steal what God had given them. All right. You, 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 you 
had some that were, were of faith going through the motions. But because of the, the attack of the enemy, they started to lose faith. But we see here this church at the temple. God exhorts them. He says, I know you're limited in strength. But you kept my word. Mm -hmm. All right. Church, how many of us, how many of us know that sometimes we it's 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 best to be limited in your own strength. All right. In order for God to be strong in you. Yeah. Oh my God. But I, 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 want, I want to walk with you on something that I see in this church in Philadelphia. They were limited in strength. But they kept my command. And they didn't forget my name. And because they kept my commands, they didn't forget my name. God said I had an open door for you that no man can shut. I have an open door of blessings for you that no man can shut. All right. Now take in, 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 in the order and in fact that there's trouble all around because the church is being persecuted at this time. But the city of brotherly love kept the love flowing. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, I might be limited in my strength, but I kept my love and my love overcame my boss. Yeah. Yeah. So at this city, God is not He's not, he's not, he's not discouraging them, but he's encouraging them in a way that continue not to just rely on your own strength, but I want you to take more advantage of the open door. Right. Yeah. How many of, um, of us understand that sometimes you can be complacent in the little things that God does for us. You can be complacent in the little things that you do for God. And so God is saying, as I open up the door of opportunity, I don't want you to be scared to walk. All right.
the deliverance of Israel than with him dying on the cross. All right. See, I, I'm going to tell you something. Because the deliverance of Israel, he made things happen naturally. Right. He, he, he not only he not only caused catastrophe in Egypt, who was abandoning his people, but what God did was a pillar, a pillar of cloud by day, and it was Jesus concealed. A pillar of fire by night, and it was Jesus concealed. Oh my God, help me, Holy Ghost. But see when He died on that cross. It was Jesus Amen. giving up his life Amen. for you. Right. And so he's telling them, not only am I your mediator, not only am I your redeemer, yes. not only am I your savior, but I'm your king and your lord because he said, I have the key of David. That means not only do I stand for you? Do I redeem you? But I govern you also. Don't miss this thing. Because see, the house of David was a kingdom government. And, and Jesus, Jesus is the, that kingdom. And then what he's doing is establishing that kingdom within us. And so what I don't want you to miss but I don't want you to miss being the house of brotherly love. Don't miss this point. That love is important. But I don't want you. I don't want you to be stagnant and growing in the grace that God has for us. This was the thing that show at the church of the devil. That was the thing that he was exhorting them to do. Don't be content. Don't be content in your little strength. But trust in his grace. Trust that he has and whatever the enemy is going to get you. Because he said in his word, he said, because you kept my word and you've kept my command. What I'm going to do, the ones who are playing church, the ones who are so called, so called my people, but who are actually representing Satan because they ain't exercising the fruits that I have given my people. See, see, see what you have to understand. He's addressing Jews who profess Jesus but walk in a whole different life. Right. They profess Jesus, but yet they want to hinder his people. They profess Jesus, but yet they want to keep his people yeah. down. Oh my God. So in, in, in the church, modern day, modern day church, those who are representing Jesus are trying to hinder his right. right. So he says he's going to do this. He's going to make your enemy are the ones who pretend to be the church folks. He said they're going to bow down. Yeah. Uh -uh. It, it's in the word. He said he's going to make them bow down to you. See, they want to stop or hinder your growth. But God says they ain't going to hinder it, but they're going to uplift it. They're going to build it up. And what I'm going to do, as I bless you and open, and as you walk through the doors, I'm going to give you the patience to endure the tribulations. I'm going to give you the patience to endure the attacks. So 
that you can see that I'm going to work and I'm going to hand for you. I'm going to give you the patience to stay there even when you can't trust it. You still trust him. When the tax gets so bad that he gives you a sense of peace within. When the storm arises, he gives you such a sense of peace within that you realize that my God got me. And I ain't got to be strong in this situation because he's strong for me. My God got me when the attacks come from the left side and the right side, from the east and from the west. I have patience because I've learned to be at peace with my God. And know that my God got me. And he says, don't be like some, don't be like some of those virgins who forgot to feel the all. Who forgot to look to me. And when I came like a thief in the night, they missed out. So what he's saying in a sense is that we can't take days off All right. on this walk with Jesus. Yes, right. Because you never know when he's coming. Mm -hmm. But you need to be ready. Yeah. Walk in the love. Yes. Grow in the grace. Yes. And God be God. So we understand. And we, we like the church of Philadelphia. We like to hear that good part. But we got some sorrows in us too. We got some laying to see it in us too. But God is helping us by exhorting and, and allowing us because he said, he who has ears to hear, let him hear. Alright. Yes, he's addressing the churches at Asia Minor. But he's also addressing the church of God. Right. And it's one church that God has as his bride. Not just Emmanuel. <laughs> Not just Town Creek. All right. But he's looking for one church. Yeah. One bride. So we show the love. We be encouraged. We don't get stagnant, though. Right, right. Because there's work to do. Mm -hmm. I mean, that, that, that. just look on the news. It's always something. We take it out of each other. Yeah. We political stuff on the rise. Right. But guess what? What the church is doing. Come on, man. Silent. We get comfortable behind these walls. Love them down, come on my street. Right, right, right. But now they own your street what you do. All right. Because there was a time they stayed off your block. Yeah. Right, right. But now they own your block. Yeah, yeah. And you still sight. All right. Well, that's what the church in Philadelphia was known for. Even though they were Weak. Love overcame it. Oh my God. Yeah. Even though they even though they weren't strong in might, love overcame it. And because they were weak, but they kept the faith. And they trusted in Jesus. He was their strength. He was their power. He was their overcoming power. Jesus was their strength. And so I'm telling you this. Don't let the stuff that the enemy does to you to try to attack you, to cause you to lose faith, to lose hope, to lose glory. Because Jesus said in his word, I won't protect you. Yeah. And when I open the door for you, no man can shut it. You've been, you've been looking for that dream to come true. Well, guess what? If that dream is part of God opening up the blessings for you, guess what? I don't care what the enemy tries to do to keep it shut. If it's, if it's meant for you, if God put it on your heart and your desire, guess what? He's going to open that thing up and there's no way going to be able to shut it. 
down and keeping you from running this race, guess what? If God shuts that door, and when he shuts that door, can't no man open it up. So when he brings you through, don't look back. Don't look back. Just keep going forward. Because it was amazing what he does. As he parted the sea, they walked to deliverance on dry ground. The sea covering their head. You think they look back? They're walking. All right. Keep walking. Mm -hmm.
to say I ain't ready. Mm -hmm. I ain't got that yet. All right. Mm -hmm. well, he's showing right here that he blessed them even though they wasn't strong mm -hmm. and weak. And yet they trusted in his love. They trusted in his love. They trusted in his strength. Thank mm -hmm. you.